Hi friends, welcome to Let's Learn Civil Engineering Classroom. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the building material that is Timber Part 2. For more videos, please subscribe the channel and click the bell button for further notification. So this video starts with the topic seasoning. As we know that timber is a hydroscopic material which means it expands on water and releases on heat. So in timber there will be 50 to 55 percentage of water. So in Indian condition water is reduced to 8 to 12 percentage and resin also removed. This process of removing the resin and reducing the water content is called as seasoning. The seasoning may be broadly classified into two that is natural seasoning and artificial seasoning. The natural seasoning is also called as air seasoning and the seasoning is done in open shades and not in direct sunlight. The seasoning is done uh, in order to improve the strength of the timber. Then the second one is artificial seasoning. Artificial seasoning is a type of seasoning in which we use some, uh, some artificial means for seasoning of the timber. There are different types of artificial seasoning that is boiling, water seasoning, steam seasoning, seasoning by chemicals, seasoning by electrical means and seasoning in kin. The timber is classified based on seasoning that is non-refractory timber, moderately refractory timber and high refractory timber. A non-refractory timber is a timber which can be easily seasoned and which does not require much precautions for example deodor, simul etc. Moderately refractory timber uh, are the timbers which requires small precautions else the timber gets cracked for example mango tree, teak, rosewood, siso etc. Then the third one is highly refractory timber. A highly refractory timber is very difficult for seasoning and which requires high precaution uh, while seasoning for example salwood axle wood, hopia, laurel, etc. The next is market forms of timber. The timber is available in the market in these forms. The first one is batten. A batten uh, is a form of timber in which the cross section is not less than 50 mm which means it is a narrow strip. The second one is plank. A plank having a thickness which is less than 50 mm and a width of greater than 50 mm. Third one board. A board which is having a thickness of less than 50 mm and a width greater than 150 mm. Then next is log. A log is a trunk of tree by removing all the branches and leaves. A log is a trunk of tree by removing all the branches and leaves. The next is pole. A pole is a type of timber, a form of timber in which it is having a diameter which is less than 200 mm. The next is end. End is a small portion of all market forms. So a small portion of all market forms is called as end. Next is bulk. Bulk is roughly square timber beam after removing the sapwood and the bark. Its one dimension is greater than 50 mm and the other dimension is greater than 100 mm. The next is scantling. A scantling in which having one dimension greater than 50 mm and the other dimension less than 200 mm. The next is deal. A deal is a form of timber in which the thickness is from 50 to 100 mm 
and the width should not be greater than 230 mm and one more form of timber is quartering quartering is a square timber beam in which the cross section is square in shape it is having a size of 50 to 150 mm that is which may be 50 by 50 or 150 by 150 in between these sections all the sections are called as quartering the next is industrial form of timber first one is veneer a veneer is a thin slice of sheet which is having a thickness of 0.4 to 6 mm 0.4 mm to 6 mm the material which is used for making batten wood plywood etc is veneer the next is plywood a plywood is formed by stacking of odd number of veneered board the cross layers are put in each layer a plywood is designed by number of its ply that is its veneer the third one is impreg timber an impreg timber is formed by dipping the timber in phenol formaldehyde and then heated hence it gets a glossiness the example for impreg timbers are sun mica sun gloss for mica etc then the fourth one is cumbrec timber a cumbrec timber is similar to impreg timber but the Cumbrec timber is formed by applying pressure. An impreg timber is formed by dipping the timber in phenol formaldehyde and then heated. But in cumbrec timber, it is formed by applying pressure but not applying heat. Then the next one is block board. A block board is an industrial form of timber which is having a width not greater than 25 mm. And if the thickness is less than 7 mm, it is called as lamin board. Then next is glulam. A glulam is made of small timber boards. It is a type of industrial form of timber in which it is made by small timber boards. The next is hard board. A hard board is made of wood pulp then the last one is a fiber board the fiber board is also called as pressed board or reconstructed board these boards are made from small plant fibers are collected and pressed together thus forming a fiber board now let's look some of the questions which is discussed in this part first question the process by which timber is cut and sawn into suitable section is known as screening, sawing, conversion, seasoning. The answer is the process by which the timber is cut and sawn into suitable section is known as conversion. The ability of a material to absorb and retain water is known as water permeability, water absorption, water resistance hygroscopicity the answer is the ability of a material to absorb and retain water is known as water absorption the moisture content in a well seasoned timber is 4 to 5 percentage 10 to 12 percentage 15 to 20 percentage 100 percentage the answer is the moisture content in a well seasoned timber is 10 to 12 percentage the diameter of a pole should be less than 100 mm, 200 mm, 50 mm, 250 mm. The answer is a diameter of a pole should be less than 200 mm. 180 by 100 by 110 is regarded as scantling deal bulk board. The answer is scantling. Sun mica is a type of veneer, cumbrec timber, imbrec timber, plywood. The answer is sun mica is an example of imbrec timber. For the manufacture of plywood, 
vinnies are placed so that the grains of the adjacent vinnies run at right angles parallel inclined at 45 degree inclined at 60 degree the answer is for the manufacture of plywood vinnies are placed so that the grains of the adjacent vinnies run at right angles seasoning is a process of removing sap creosoting painting with sodium silicate coating with tar seasoning is a process of removing the sap a piece of sawn timber whose cross sectional dimension exceeds 5 cm in one direction and 20 cm in other direction is called as scant deal bulk strip the answer is bulk According to IS 399 1963, the weight of a timber is specified at 8% 10% moisture content, 12% moisture content, 14% moisture content. The answer is according to IS 399 1963, the weight of the timber is specified at 12% of moisture content. Seasoning of timber is essential to remove notes from the timber, sap from the timber, twisted fiber from the timber, roughness of the timber. The answer is seasoning of the timber is essential to remove sap from the timber. Thank you for watching the video.